Welcome to Angel Dogs Tarot, where we channel messages from your guardian angels and from our angel dogs. And today we have got Angel October working with us. And we are looking at the energies around the new moon. So what might be coming up for you? We're going to get an energy theme for the overall reading. Um, this is a pick a pile reading, although it's new moon coming up. These are good for whenever you find them. So as new moon energies travel for a long time, we've got pile one, pile two, pile three. Here we go. So, and then we'll get a charm as well, an overall theme. So for pile one, we have got, wow, you are the universe. That's card number 29. For pile number two, we have got whispers. It's card number 12. I'll just move those out of the way there. And for pile number three, we have got wellness. Love that, card number 24. And for your charm, a really good rummage. For pile number one, you have got a seahorse. For pile number two, you have some balloons. They actually looked a little bit like cherries to me when they came out. So balloons or cherries, take that how it resonates. Um, I think they are balloons, but cherries might be relevant for some of you. And then we have got a cloud. Love that. Okay. And then just before we set off, just um, once I've got this, I'll draw out all the cards for the reading. Uh, we have got an overall energy theme coming through year of time out sense and peace okay wow so this is the overall energy for the entire readings for all three piles um this will uh make sense <laughs> make sense um uh in the title when we finish these readings okay wow lovely energy we will if you need a bit more time, sorry, just please press pause. Otherwise, I'll see you in your readings. Hey, pile number one, welcome to your reading. You chose this lovely card of number 29 of the You Are the Universe. And we have got this lovely seahorse as well. Now, seahorses are a symbol of persistence and also strength in in currents in uh, choppy waters um, so even when there is a lot of waves breaking around the shore you can find a seahorse kind of anchored to something but then they'll drift along in the current um, and with this time out I'm kind of getting along with the um, seahorse I'm getting from Toba that perhaps you have been drifting through quite a lot of stormy waters and it's kind of time to anchor yourself to something steady to make sense of um, something that you want to voice. So we've got throat chakra energy coming out here. Um, there might be something that you or somebody has said to you that you really want to um, just pause and make make sense of. And I'm also so getting here, make peace with. Um, this yellow chakra, this yellow energy here is very uh, significant of self-worth, um, solar plexus chakra. So there's an energy across this entire reading particularly around new moon energy of um pausing taking time out of life to really get into this your sense of inner sense of calm and peace but in particular to, to kind of work out something work out something that's been said to you um, and that, that might just require you to anchor or maybe you kind of felt a little bit um that your anchor point has gone and you really want to connect to something what i'm getting here from this card coming through straight away is that you you feel and see the light you feel and see that there is some structure around this universe. Um, we've got these two figures here kind of pointing in the distance, but it, it feels like it's a slightly remote concept to you, perhaps. It's something that you, you're you looking at, you you feel it's relevant to you, you, um, you're maybe joining forces with people who you vibe with, uh, maybe guiding you, maybe trying to show you the way to the light of the universe, but 
you're, you're trying to make sense of it. You're trying to make sense of what people are saying. Um, and in order to make sense of what people are saying, there is this element of needing to make peace with yourself, make peace with your own um, with your own capability. Um, OK, so we've got some lovely cards. We're going to work with these cards in all three messages today. Um, sometimes I swap the cards around, but mostly I do. But we're going to do things a little bit differently. These are the Spirit Stongs Tarot, the White Sage Tarot. So two different tarot decks. Um, we've got these Listening to Flowers, which is kind of like taking time out. And I was very amused by the fact that on the top of these, um, when I took them out of the box, it says Heather on it. Um, I wasn't meant to be, but I'm quite happy because I'm Heather, by the way, in case I hadn't introduced myself. Um, these are the Sea Soul Journeys Oracle, and then we've got the Secret Language of Light, which are these which want to come out again. So we are going to just actually make a little bit of room now that we introduce the cards. I'll leave the tarot cards down. I'm going to get another one of these lovely Secret Language of Lights. Um, so something that pile number one needs to make sense of. Um, make peace with, make peace with their self-worth. Um, there is only light. Okay, so that would indicate that you've been in a period of darkness, um, that you have been working hard to figure something out to see the light. And it's this, it's almost like a progression. It's like, you know, it's there. Um, I kind of feel like this is almost the same image. Um, and it's how to bring that closer to you, how to how to move from this darkness where you're where you know that there's something more there. There's there's some perfect energy this camera's going out of focus which is very relevant it means that you're kind of maybe trying to focus on something um so we have got some tarot cards so we're just going to do a little bit of history and then one and two no we're going to leave those there's a third one here current energy okay so for some history then We've got the two shells, um, harmony and union, and we've got love, but it's upside down. Okay, so there's some been this is okay, wow. There's some topsy turvy um energy that has been going on for you. Um, I think you maybe thought that you had love, um, and you've maybe come into union once or twice. These are the two cards of very close union. Um, and where where you thought you'd maybe made some of the right choices and you thought you would have uh, maybe union and harmony forever um things in your past have been choppy sometimes things have been working out sometimes they haven't and this could be with somebody that you're with and maybe it's a bit of a roller coaster relationship or it could be that you have had um sometimes what you felt was like success in relationships and then it hasn't necessarily been although we have got um the first card that is sitting over on the left which is further into the distance is um the card where love hasn't necessarily showed up and then we've got in the distance card where it has so you've maybe experienced closeness um more recently than you have kind of thinking that you're in love but it hasn't been um but definitely in your past history you you need to make sense with why love isn't necessarily plain sailing for you um OK, and then we've got the sort of current situation. So that's in your past. Um, you've maybe been taking some time out to make sense of relationships, making peace with yourself, worth making peace with the fact that if something hasn't worked out, it's not about you. Then, OK, we've got the chariot. So discipline and determination. So this is a real inner strength card. Um, it can be the card of forward movement. Sometimes it's about something coming to you. But I feel that this is very much about you just wanting to take ownership and just kind of like forge the way ahead. Um, there's this rhinoceros that's kind of like a bit of a thick skin. You've had to put on a bit of a thick skin. So that's the energy at the moment. And this rhinoceros is on their own. So there's an energy of um, I can do this. I can do it alone if I have to. Even if you're with somebody, there might be a feeling of not being with somebody. OK, and we've got the moon, which is very much about introspection. So energy about um, going into your intuition. But that's also it can be a card that is associated with a bit of fears, a bit of um, a bit of mystery, a bit of what's the secret? What is the secret of the universe? Why is it? What 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 secret do I need to know in order to understand how to get what I want? Um, 
And then we've got this nine of unicorns, but it's upside down. So we've got power and perseverance. So we've got almost the opposite. We've got this chariot, which is determination. And then we've got the nine of acorns upside down, which is just like, oh, I'm just tired. I, I, why can't I get what I want? Why, why can't I, um, why can't I find that? Um, why can't I find that power that I, I, and discipline? Um, it's coming and going, and I really want some help here. I really want to understand with this moon energy how do i access my intuition how do i access this universal energy because just life is just up and down and up and down Ro very roller coaster energy going on here um part number one i feel for you <laughs> um uh i understand it <laughs> only too well unfortunately from my own experiences um but there's this real power and determination inside of you, which is amazing. Okay, so in terms of uh, oracle cards, I'm just going to get another one, actually, sorry. Um, either side of you. Okay, so what the oracle cards are saying, there is only light. I think you understand that, but you really want to be able to move towards it and, and own it. So we've got first card here is Galanthus. And it says, I trust in my choices. I possess clarity as my decisions flow with ease. I release inner conflict and welcome peace of mind. Wow, we've got peace here. So this is sense, making sense of my decisions, making sense of uh, my choices. Um, obviously, speaking from the energy that's coming through from you, not from my choices. <laughs> um, and there's this uh, invitation to take time out, to anchor yourself, to trust, to trust in your ability to anchor to your own, to your own self-worth, not to the need for somebody else to actually give that to you. And then we have got, I'll oh, leave that one up that way, Minimus. And it says, I'm grounded in fearlessness. I face challenges and curiosity with confidence. I stand tall and know that I'm safe. Two very strong, empowered cards coming through here. Um, really feeling that um, seahorse energy. Okay. And then two of these sea salt cards, please, Tobo. We have got faith and curious may trust steady your fears that's trust it's the same thing and fears there's this same repeating energy coming across here and curious maybe open and explore okay so this is definitely a card of opening yourself up um whereas these are just make peace have sense trust ground yourself um anchor yourself to your self-worth not to somebody else's perception of what your worth is um so current energy is uh it, it's about um it's about trusting the foundation of who you are. Um that's very much the message that's coming through here, part number one. Okay, so we're gonna get some different tarot cards here to say what is the advice actually for this message. So we understand the energy, we understand the kind of concepts. Um what is the advice? Okay, so they're gonna come out in pairs, which is fine. Okay, so the advice, first of all, is, well, okay, justice and eight of cups. So you perhaps had to go through quite a lot of getting things into balance. If you've had topsy-turvy relationships, it could be either that you have to um, end something, end a cycle, get something back in balance. It could be that you've been using other relationships to balance yourself. Um, and when we make peace with ourselves, we balance ourselves, and therefore relationships can be balanced. And we've got here a heart and a feather, kind of unequal. It's like I need to balance my my um, feelings of um, self-love um, and also this spiritual connection. So this feather to me is really representing um, allowing the lightness, the light energy of the universe to actually replace the heavy energy of kind of heart-based loss. And then we've got Eight of Cups, and the Eight of Cups is about letting go. It is about moving away. So um, so there's still some energy and advice that if you're not feeling peace and you're feeling like you can get going, but then you need to withdraw, you might be feeling very tired um, in some of this energy. You certainly had this rocky roller coaster um, love, uh, love journey, uh, relationship journey, that letting go of something that is energetically still um here and and just freeing the energy so that is um that is uh something that you can do it's energy healing work 
Um, if you uh, follow me and stay tuned um, or go to Patreon, my Patreon channel, we're going to be doing energy healing um, work in there um, so we can help you with healing that. And second advice, wow, goodness me, is King of Swords and Eight of Swords. Wow, these are the two extremes of Swords energy. Swords energy is thoughts. Okay, so it's a fresh set of thoughts that you take ownership. It's like total leadership of your own thoughts with a fresh set of ideas. Bring yourself clarity. Um, bring in, call in, call in the guardian, like call in Archangel Michael, call in the angel um, power. Um, but it's really about making you the leader of your thoughts and um, perhaps even becoming a thought leader. That might be something. So if, but having truth, having mental courage, um, cutting away all the swords, all the ribbons of um, you know, toxic energy, people who you thought were loving, but actually ended up being toxic energy and, and they just became lessons. Um, lessons maybe to progress you towards the universe, to to, to the light. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. I love this. <gasps> Can you believe it? We've got lovers again over here. So with this newfound strength, um, love is going to come. Part number one. This is just a, what, what a beautiful reading. When you ground yourself, you make sense, you take time out, everything gets into perspective, you find strength, you find the infinite strength of you inside you, um, then a real relationship, and not only that, <laughs> at this, <laughs> wow, could you write it? When you ground yourself on your own self-worth, the right relationship will come along. Now, the key here is not to be so tied into somebody that you can't also also float free at the same time. And that requires strength. Sometimes it requires strength to let go. So there is an element maybe here of, um, for some of you still, some of the advice is to find the strength to not anchor yourself to somebody else, to let go, to flow free and be close to somebody. Oh, wow. Okay. That's just an amazing message. Um, I'm not really sure I need any more, but we have got to this line. So I kind of want to know. Um, yeah, I do feel like we need a couple more cards for you. Maybe just get one from this deck and one from the other deck. So where this only light is, is, you know, what's the outcome? What 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 happens beyond this? So we've got some advice. Um, I'm seeing the outcome is finding a renewed strength and a different type of approach to to loving relationships. But um or maybe just some timing let's get let's see what we can let's see what else wants to come out here and we'll do if you let's that one um okay and then we'll get a message from tober specifically channeled from the angels okay we have got awakening and five of swords okay so this is this is really um this is quite profound um, pile number one so this is a renewal an enlightenment it's number 20 it's it's in traditional tarot it would be judgment but in here it it is really the awakening to self-realization um and i'm getting here that the how how much you might have damaged yourself like the five of swords energy is um coming through for me about like cutting these ribbons that were here with the ace of swords um how much of what how much you maybe have allowed other people to cut you up um and an awakening to uh, your i guess your strength your your how much your energy if you shift it can bring light to you um and and an awakening to how beautiful you are look at this peacock energy instead of letting other people um basically tear you to shreds so, so that I think that's the profound realization and the journey that you're on. You might be, you might be progressing there. There might be somebody that's particularly stuck in your mind, has been stuck in your mind for a long period of time, somewhere where you thought it was love, and they got very close to you, and then they withdrew. And maybe you've even seen or found out that there was somebody else, um, even though energetically you felt them close to you. They maybe have even visited you in dreams, and then you found that they're they have moved on or they have uh, let you down in some way um, and you are having a wake-up call I've got this owl here going kind of like oh hang on a minute um, this is really tough but maybe I actually need to understand that um, I was setting myself up to be 
tied up and cut down again so even this feel, felt like a loving relationship it was still it would have still sapped my strength it would have still tied me down um and i'm too beautiful and it, and it, and there will be love there will be love coming for you there is a different relationship look how amazing you are and it will be an enlightened relationship and it will be a renewal of um uh a renewal of exactly what you think energy is. Um, but in the meantime, we've got here Toba saying, take time out, you know, make sense of it, make sense of what you've heard, make sense of who you are, make sense of your own truth and make peace with your own truth, make peace with your own capability, make peace with your own intelligence. And that's the other thing that's coming through here is that if this felt like a match, um, but there was some element of it that wasn't a vibrational match to you. What I can guarantee you that they were saying is that you have you have more light to give than this other person. This other person hasn't yet moved towards as far towards the light as you have. They may catch up. They may, in that element, move beyond the person that they were with um, or that they are with now, if you've seen them with somebody else. Um, but the key here is to really own your own thoughts, own your own thought processes and um, enjoy yourself. That's the other thing that's coming through. Tober saying really um, here we've got this curious card. Um, may you open and explore. There's so much more out there. Um, that is more truth. That is that is that is closer to the truth of who you are. Oh, okay. Pile number one. That's um. You've been on some journey. Okay, I'm just going to pause. I'm just going to get you a guardian angel affirmation card. With a blink of an eye, perhaps didn't see the pause. I've got. I'm actually going to lead read you three. Okay, we've got believe. Be open to all possibilities and opportunities. Let go of preconceived ideas. There's nothing to fear. We had that fear coming through here. You are constantly surrounded by love. Start to believe in yourself. <laughs> wow. And trust your instincts. Wondrous possibilities and opportunities abound, provided you are flexible to retain an open heart and mind. Believe all is possible. Okay, so believe that even this relationship could come back at some point in time. Wow. In encouragement. Your love is invaluable to the earth and to those around you, even though you may not always see the positive effect your love has on others. Trust, for it does. Each time you offer love through a genuine gesture, thought or word, you plant a seed of love and love always generates more love. Trust and continue your loving work. And then we have, I'm just going to put that there. No, actually I'm going to leave that there because this is relevant to the strength because we've got eternity and we've got the eternity symbol on this strength. Gently move your awareness from the external world to a world of light within your heart. Wow. Allow each breath to heal you as you drift to a place beyond time. Eternity exists within you. Forever sparkling like a diamond, you are in essence a shining star, forever transforming to a greater light. Wow! Oh my goodness, is that it? Could that? Could these cards come together in any more perfect way for you? Card number one: You are a gift to the world. You are have so much love to give. You haven't received it in the way that you are able to give it. I think ever, but I think that's part of your journey is perhaps to understand how to find unconditional love. And unconditional love comes when you are able to make sense of the power of your voice, and you're able to make peace with your intelligence um, and allow it to be. Allow you allow yourself to give yourself permission and the gift of actually allowing yourself to realize how amazing you are. Um, and that in turn will allow you to receive love um, because you have then woken up to just what an incredible being you are and the right person will meet you at your frequency. Amazing. I feel for you as well, pal number one. So all the best with this. Please let us know how you're getting on. Um, and uh, please like, subscribe, comment, share if you haven't already and join us and come back another time. Um, the angels and the angel dogs love to have you with us and love to be able to help and support you in any way they can. Thank you. Hey. Pile number two, welcome to your reading. So you chose this lovely card number 12 of Whispers. And we've also got this loon 
which is very much about ascending energy. Now, as I said, for some of you, it kind of came out as cherries, which is slightly a little bit more earthbound energy. Um, so I think what I'm getting from that is that there is a um, transition that you're all going through. Um, if you pick this pile where you are ascending, you're starting to hear maybe whispers from the universe. You, some of you might actually be channeling. Um, and it's like your your vibrational frequency of you is, if you can see here with this lovely kind of ascension energy, is really starting to ascend. Um, and some of you might be feeling a little bit more closer to the ground. Some of you might be feeling a little bit more closer to the um, to the whispers of the universe. Um, up here we have got um, we have got here a it's like almost a brighter light. So it's kind of like I feel some of you are actually getting to the stage where you might be um, actually getting channeled messages, which is amazing. Perhaps even more than that. Perhaps you're actually um, moving into mediumship, for example. So there is um, whatever whatever stage you're at, um, there is this definite freeing of your um, concepts of what um, you're actually capable of in terms of your energy journey. Um, so this whole reading is about taking time out and making sense of something um, and making peace with something. We've got a sense here of um, making sense of something you've heard or something that you want to talk about. Making peace with the yellow energy is about um, making peace with your self-worth. So there's an invitation here to take time out. I'm getting quite a strong sense for you, pile number two, that this is actually um, about stilling your mind, about maybe going into some kind of meditation practice, if that's something you're doing already, or maybe deepening that practice, um, because there is definitely uh, a um, a step change coming for you in your connectivity without any doubt. It's like it's going to go, Ooh, wow, like you're suddenly going to get this kind of almost like explosion outwards of energy going, oh. Oh my goodness! I've just I've just realised I can do something. Um, so we're going to get some more information about this reading. Uh, we are going to continue with the secret language of light oracle cards. We've got listening to flowers, which is kind of like about the time out. We've got the sea journey oracle cards, which is really getting that sense of peace. Um, we've got spirit song tarot, which are very gentle tarot cards, and we're also going to clarify or get a second message with white sage tarot again. Very gentle, very gentle energy here, very peaceful energy, which is really really lovely. It's very nice to hang out in. Um, so all three piles are getting the same cards today. We're just going to move these out of the way. We're going to get one of these extra secret language of lights. So, Toba, which card for this file? No, it's not that one. Right. Um, okay, it's a bit sticky. All right. So you might you might just be trying to get that ground going. We're going to go with this one. Ask your soul. What a different colored energy. This is kind of, there is only one card there. It feels quite thick. This is very... Um, this is very strong energy. This is very, I'm feeling quite earthly grounded energy. Um, whereas we've got this balloon. So it might be why these cards are a little bit sticky because you're kind of feeling that there's something that you're, there's something still grounding you or rooting you in more earthly matters. Um, maybe some of you are just working on opening your heart chakra and by opening your heart chakra, you'll actually ascend into a more, um, I, I'm going to use the word ethereal energy state. Okay, so we're going to get some tarot cards to uh, over here. We're going to get some uh, historic energy, and here we're going to get some current energy. So it's energy of right here, right now. So current energy, we'll get that one and that one. And energy of right here, right now. We have got that one. And actually that one. Okay, so historic energy. We've got the nine of feathers and the page of crystals both upside down. So we've got the nine of feathers, which the right way up is um perception and self-empowered. So historically, uh you perhaps didn't have um much faith in your intuition, um, uh, and you were felt a little bit drained of energy. Um and then we've got the page of crystals, we've got ideas and disciplines. Okay, so I'm getting that you perhaps didn't really think very highly of your capability. Um, you were perhaps a little bit undisciplined. Um, we've got the 
page of, pen, page of crystals energy here with a fox. The fox is quite wily. You maybe felt a little bit um, uh, naive sometimes. And we've got the, it's like the porcupine here. You maybe felt that other people um, were a bit prickly, uh, whereas you kind of kept on showing up with a naive energy, try to be loving, try to try to give people a lot of time. And actually what we're saying is you need to take time out for yourself and listen to the whispers of your own heart. And I think you understand that because this is past energy. Uh, but in the past, your ideas have been shut down by other people. You maybe have just allowed that to happen. Um, and in terms of your maybe your spiritual growth or even actually your, your physical kind of world growth, um, you may have kind of been a little bit undisciplined in that. I'm getting this energy here, which is like such strong focus on wanting to find what works for you right in the middle of this. So what is the current energy that we've got going on? <laughs> the moon, we had this in pile number one. There could be another message for you in pile number one. Very, very, very different reading, very different, um, uh, very different <laughs> co uh, content, um, very different message. So it could be a core like that you could easily have something in two readings. Go if if you weren't drawn to it, then um please don't go there just because I say so. But if you had an idea that you might want to go there and you're reading this one first, then there might be something else in there for you. Okay, so current energy is that you're really diving into your imagination, your perception, whereas before you had not um really engaged with it, now you are, which is great. And upside down, we've got the traveler um. The, sorry, the right way up, which is the full energy, we've got adventure and potential, but it, this is a, actually, I'm getting, you've kind of taken a leap into um, a new beginning of understanding your intuition, and, and that's where you are, it's like you're, you're, you're now feeling your way through this, so there's a sort of air of slight caution going on in here, it's like, is this really right, the moon can can indicate a little bit of fear i don't i'm not getting that energy at all i'm just getting it's like you've taken a leap of faith to shift yourself forward um to dive more into your intuition to not let prickly energy affect you to understand this energy journey so you've done that leap and it's like okay i'm 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 all right i'm open to this so what's all this about then help me explain more how do i how do i move and how do i get this um how do i get this balloon to go and you have with this us, your soul and the moon energy, um, I am getting a real a real correlation that you're diving in, you're diving into your energy, diving into your heart energy to try and find out what it's all about. Okay, so we are going to pull some oracle cards just to get a grounding of um, what else this is going on here. So we've got that one there and we've got that one there. Okay, so we have got beach. I release judgment and welcome the ways of others. Wow. My reactions are soothed through understanding. I cultivate kindness and harmony. This is, I am releasing judgment. Look at that heart energy. And I am allowing that energy of other people's energy of judgment just to float away. Astonishing. Okay. And mustard. I'm filled with golden glow. <laughs> How golden is that? I embrace life with dynamic energy. I awaken to my radiant bliss. Yeah. Pile number two, you are right in the middle of this um, process of transitioning. Um, and, and you're feeling it. Like you get it, you understand it, you feel it, you're, you're feeling the benefits from it. Uh, and you're also perhaps getting people falling away from you who, uh, or treating people or, or not allowing people to treat you the same way that they used to treat. Um, they used to treat you, but you're treating people with love and respect. You're not, you're not, um, you're not hating on people because of how they've been, although you might have be having to process some hurt and anger, but you're not, you're not, you're letting it go. You're processing and letting it go and really focusing on how to be loving to yourself and to others. Okay, we have got persist, uh, um, not upside down, these are oracle cards, I'm not gonna read them upside down. Okay, may your ripples build the swell. Wow, so whatever you've started, it is just going to keep growing and growing and growing and growing. And we've got two of these that want to come out. Wow, I love that. Receive, may we know that you're worthy of the gift and journey, may you seek adventure. This is the adventure card, okay? And you've kind of put adventure and seeking on hold and there's an invitation that's amazing to actually know, re engage with the adventure. It is an adventure going on 
And uh, energy awakening is an adventure. It's a roller coaster. It can be lonely. It's not necessarily an easy thing to do, but the rewards of being a person who is in tune with love and heart energy is um, so worth it. Um, you might not feel that you might be giving out a lot of heart energy at this point in time. Um, it's very important and what's coming through on this card is that you also part of the energy awakening is to awaken yourself to receiving um particularly if you have been uh, uh coming from a background where uh, you have given so much and not received and you might not feel that you're worthy of receiving so part of the awakening process is to allow yourself to receive as well Okay, we are going to get some. I'm just going to put that there so I don't override it. Um, we are going to get some tarot cards now about what's the guidance for this particular message. So, what is what is what are the angels actually wanting to let you know? Um, how they can help you or how you can help yourself? What's actually happening with this energy? One, one two, those over there, and I can see that one, and I can see that one. Oh, there's three that came out. That's fine. I think those want to go like that. Okay. All right. So, and this one on the top keeps flying off. Okay. We've got a few cards coming out here, which is great. We've got the Knight of Pentacles. So there is um, new, there's a message coming in or there's a new opportunity coming in um, with regards to material, material worth. So you are going to get some news or, or you're going to get somebody coming in, perhaps a masculine energy coming in with news of a potential financial opportunity. There might be a little bit of an uplift in your finances. So if you've kind of been feeling a little bit stuck in that regard, because we've got this fool upside down, um, it's like you're taking a leap of faith, but you're not really sure, then there is news coming in for you about that. Oh. <laughs> And that news is going to bring you lots. We've got the ace and we've got the ten of pentacles. So it's going to perhaps spark your ambition, um, this news. There's going to be something that's going to really take, like it's just going to take you as a, as a really um, great idea to do, or you're just going to get a new idea about how to use some of your knowledge to maybe um, start a side hustle, start a business. And that's going to combine very quickly particularly we've got this knight of pentacles or the knight of pentacles is quite slow moving energy but straight away we're into the ten of pentacles so you're jumping from ace to ten really quickly so good fortune is coming um i don't want to say it because that's like asking you to count on luck but some of you might get an an, an, an inflow that is unexpected because you might be expecting something from this but actually you end up with a lot more um, and we've got this lovely um, rainbow here which is Tobra's energy which is fantastic wow <laughs> this is fantastic and we've got the queen of pentacles wow this is like this is like the money reading <laughs> have you been manifesting money okay so your look how look how happy you're going to feel and and i think with this the, you're, you're actually going to maybe open yourself to receiving love in a different way you might find somebody that you're working with that you just really vibe with you might find that you've got people who are working for you that you just really vibe with um we have got here um just more pentacles we just got this absolutely loving energy going on in here and and the queen energy is very nurturing it's down to earth it's comfortable so um <laughs> this work is paying off because you're releasing you're releasing judgment you're releasing and letting go wow okay we've got nine of ones there we go you're releasing and letting go so there's this determination that you have um now really to progress to move things forwards to take actions to do to do things for yourself um where you have, might have been carrying the burden of other people um, now what this is is I'm I'm not going to carry the burden of other people. I am I'm going to harness my strength and determination. I'm going to complete this journey. I'm actually going to move forward, um, and I'm going to I'm going to really embrace this energy journey. Pile <laughs> <laughs> oh, number two, we've got the King Ten of Cups and the Queen of Cups. I'll, I'll, there's massive emotional reward and emotional fulfillment coming in for you as well. Like you're just going to feel um, 
Well, I think your your compassion, you're going to feel healed. You're going to feel that you're going to just take time out. I mean, these, these are all definitely your energies here. And you're just going to feel very, very, very emotionally rewarded. It's, and it's going to go on forever. Like, you can't go back from this. So all of your hard work, all of the work that you've been doing is paying off. And, and, and because you're going to see it paying off, look at this. You're going to feel like you're just going to feel enriched materially with this whatever's coming in it's going to have so whatever's coming in is going to happen really quickly it's, it's going to have a re renewed determination to keep going and that in turn is just going to make you feel healed rewarded um and just like the emotional fulfillment is like you're on your path to happy ever after and there might be somebody coming in for you here um i'm not getting the energy particularly of this being about um you know a, a, a romantic partnership uh, spoiler alert you might want to check out pile number one if that's of interest to you because we've got the owl here um uh, again a very different reading this is very much about your earnings your your business your your material wealth <laughs> this is just so strong and so stunning um okay so uh, i am just going to get a couple more tarot cards to say uh kind of what happens next or is there a so tell me what, what else can what else can you tell me Toba what else is there and then we'll just let him loose with anything that he wants to say I'm not sure oh yes there is I beg your pardon okay love and trust and choices you love choices coming in wow what else have we got I was going to do them both I meant to do one and then do them both at the same time and seven of wands, but it's upside down. So it's surrendering. Okay. So it's just letting go, just letting go, letting go of the exhaustion. That's going to go. Seven of wands is about um, sort of self-protection. Um, that is like fending off other people. It's like, you don't feel like you have to fend off anyone anymore. You don't even have to fend off love. Uh, look at, look, it's like love is coming running in and we've got these two lovely, I'll say wolves, but I'm going to say angel dogs. Love is coming. Trust that love is coming. Um, it's like the end of the fight is over. <laughs> Could this be a more lovely reading? Pile number two. I'm, I was blown away by pile number one, and I'm now blown away by pile number two. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> New moon. We like it. Okay, we're going to get a message, maybe more than one from your guardian angel. Yeah, we're going to get one. We had three i'm actually yeah i've seen those two um we have three four part number one so we're going to get the same balance difference is necessary is a necessary part of human evolution and everything in life is comprised of opposites which together make life whole if you light a candle in a room already flooded with light the light of your candle would be indistinguishable from the light which already exists because of the darkness we're able to perceive the light both are necessary okay this is very much about you balancing by letting go um and given the darkness and light again i just there is perhaps another message for you in part number one okay how to use these cards interesting um that in its own right is uh i this is an instruction card but there is a bit of an instruction in this by saying um trust your guardian angel but also trust the process and also um, how to use the balloons by letting go of energy going through there i'm just gonna put those up there um wow and about the author okay this is really um part, partly excuse me for not fishing those out i thought they were have gone but it's actually um there's a message in there coming back to here about making sense and making peace with yourself about the author you are the author of your own destiny and you are able to use your guardian angel i think that's something that's really important to come through look at that more instructions listen to the instructions blessings love light blessings through this card you're being showered with angelic light accept the blessings about to come your way and know that you deserve to be and have all your heart's desires you are being lovingly guided along a golden path, a magical journey through which you shall discover, shall discover your true essence and infinite and internal mm -hmm. you. Congratulations. So I'm just going to come back. Tobra's just wanting me to point out what was going on with these instruction cards. So I have a deck of cards here. Um, these instruction cards should actually be, have been sorted out. So I've obviously picked them up and shuffled them at some time. 
out of all of these cards, all three came out. So what this is saying to me, I think is really clear, is that you have been following instructions. You have been listening. You have been, you have been listening to the universe. You have been taking time out when you need to. You've been making peace with yourself. You've been making sense of the signs and synchronicities that you've been getting. Um, and you've also been working very hard to put behind you past hurts, to to move forward when you're ready to move forward, to trust your intuition, and you've been persistent about it. Open yourself up to moving forward. Open yourself up to receiving. Open yourself up to your heart energy, to receiving what it is that you deserve um, because you've been doing the hard work and you really have been listening. You've been following instructions. Pile number two, absolute huge kudos to you. You deserve every single morsel of pennies, of gifts, of fulfillment, of... Um, worthiness of the ambition that you've put into everything and the emotional rewards that are coming to um stay in balance open yourself to keep opening that heart energy keep opening that heart energy and open yourself to receive because blessings are literally about to be showered on you and you're almost immediately after this message going to receive an, a message about something that's coming and it's just going to transform your world financially and emotionally um and potentially with love as well wow pile number two enjoy thank you so much for being with us uh all the blessings in the world to you please do like subscribe share and comment um if you enjoy our channel and help us get these um, beautiful messages out from the angels and the angel dogs and um, we hope to see you again sometime take care bye Card number three, welcome to your reading. You chose this lovely card number 24 of wellness. We've got this beautiful heart and there's a sword here. So there's a real um, step change in your thoughts. So swords of thoughts. Um, and that step change in your thoughts is bringing so much light and so much love coming into your energy. Like in your energy, it's not above you. It's not beyond you. It is, it is, you are part of it. Um, and we've got, other sort of um, souls here so you're also from this energy feeling very connected um, and then we've got this cloud um, I did get the words coming through from Tober of perhaps being on cloud nine or if you're not at the moment then that is definitely something that could be coming for you um, so taking time out making sense making peace um, these are general energies across these readings so the time out energy is pretty clear the sense is blue chakra throat chakra energy so making sense of something that you've heard or something that you want to say um, making sense of your thoughts and also we've got this peace energy of yellow which is making peace with your self-worth um, and that combination is dynamic it is life-changing um, so we have got uh, it's a beautiful combination so and just quickly um, I should explain these are the secret language of light oracle cards these are listening to flowers these are sea soul journeys these are spirit song tarot and then we've got white sage tarot um, beautiful energies these cards are just like in pile number one and number two's readings if you haven't watched them spoiler alert I don't want to give it away but the, the energy was just just so beautiful um, so let's see what we have here for your reading inner voice oh wow we've kind of got this um, it's not quite a sword, but it, it feels like it's a continuation. I always kind of feel it, it, it's like your inner voice is beneath your mind. Um, your inner voice is actually in your inner being. It is around I kind of like almost like your stomach area. But we've got this angel wings here. So I, I kind of feeling in, in some ways it's like these are kind of going. Um, oh, what's the right word? Not tip. Uh, I'm getting from Tobra like your flip-flopping between listening to your inner voice and understanding that your thoughts actually are incredible energy and making peace like um, being giving yourself loving thoughts okay we're going to start with the tarot cards we're going to get some past energy here for some context and we're going to get current energy here oh that came flying out and then we have got um 
<laughs> Sorry, I'm so distracted by that sun. It's beautiful. Um, and then we've got the white sage tarot we will use to get some guidance on too many, just two or three of these tobra, um, to get some guidance on what the message is about. One, and that's two. And, okay, so past energy, we have got <laughs> the moon and the sun. Oh, goodness, could you get any better? So the sun is healing energy. It is divine masculine energy. That's not man or male or female. That's masculine energy. And then we've got the moon, which is, um, uh, for me, it's actually the energy of, uh, it's, it's intuition, but it's also the energy of manifestation. Um, so we've got action. We've got, we've got um magnetizing and then we've got taking action which is kind of the combination that we need as well as clarity of thought in order to manifest so there's a big theme of manifestation coming through already because in your past energy you've been doing the work to balance yourself sorry and the moon is divine feminine energy as well it's deep it's intuitive it's it's um calm it's water energy as well the moon and um, this pisces energy and then we've got the sun which is fiery it's it's action there's this beautiful balance you have got yourself into balance <laughs> and you can see that in this card you are just wow okay so current energy so what's going on what's this message about then okay we've got the ace of acorns so we've got creative focus and confidence all right so you're maybe not 100 percent confident yet in your ability to manifest through focusing um and bringing into you um what what it is that you want what you want to create uh okay and then we've got the traveler which is the full upside down adventure and potential okay so what we've got is a little bit of energy of okay i've done the work i'm really balanced i've calmed my thoughts i'm listening to my inner voice um what next where do i go with this what do i do with this how do i how do i how do i harness this to create with confidence what it is that i want in order to move forward with confidence um, and that's fine. That's a really good and healthy place to be because you're kind of assessing. And so there's taking time out, making sense of it, being at peace, staying at peace, being in balance, being in harmony. It's like, I've got this energy. How do I, how do I harness it? How do I move forward with it? What, what is my potential? What is my action? What is my focus? Um, okay. Um, and then actually, <laughs> this is kind of flying out. Okay. I need to focus because that's kind of what I'm feeling. I'm feeling so excited for you. Um, is 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 uh, uh, these dreams, these clouds, how 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 do they how do they how do they turn into something material? And the fact that we've got a new moon around here, um, not only we've got the moon energy, but there's this there's this manifestation. There really is just fabulous energy going on in here. So let's see how we can help you with this. Okay, so we've got a willow. I release blame and embrace responsibility through acceptance. I cultivate freedom through forgiveness. I cultivate unity. Okay, so there's a little bit of letting go still going on here, but not a huge amount, so just a little bit. And we've got Serato. I listen to my inner voice. No, look, inner voice, an inner voice. I release doubt accept, and accept certainty. Uh, I embrace my truths of pure knowing. Wow. Wow. Okay. So I just, yeah, I'll leave them like that, I think, with the inner voice. Um, so there's just maybe a tiny little bit of extra acceptance going on, you know, um, releasing releasing judgment and accepting our own capability, um, particularly making peace with our self-worth and making sense of things, other things that people have told you, other things that people have maybe told you about yourself. Um, there's just a little bit of work still going on. So, But you're tuned into your inner voice, so you're not stuck in your mind. You've managed to elevate your mind's thoughts into self-love and make peace with them. But there's maybe just some things that are still some dreams that have maybe uh maybe you kind of realize that some dreams that you had may never actually manifest in the way that you want them and there's a little bit of processing to let go of that as well make sense of it um okay we have got no not obvious that one is definitely obvious and so is that one there we go okay 
Very strong energy going on down here. We've got receive. <laughs> May you know you are worthy of the gift. This is making peace with your self-worth. Um, you have all these dreams. You maybe just don't have the confidence that you're quite worthy enough yet. And that is just a little bit of extra work to say, give yourself permission to accept your intelligence. Um, nobody else is going to do it for you. You are an intelligent, capable, creative being. Um, and every single person's intelligence is as unique as their fingerprint. We have no right to judge ourselves or judge other people based on how we are or who we are. We, 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 we shouldn't judge ourselves. We should accept ourselves. Um, sorry, we have no right to judge ourselves. Other people have no right to judge us, is what I was trying to say. But we also have no right to judge ourselves. Our minds shouldn't really behave like that. Um, ease may be effortless. Okay, you are going to become very quickly an effortless manifester, pile number three. There's absolutely no two ways about that. It's all here. It's in your energy. Your dreams are lined up. Your thoughts are in the right place. They're elevated. You've really opened yourself up to um, being a light being. You've got yourself in balance. You're listening to your inner voice. You're still listening to your inner voice. There's what is just needed to be happened to get your confidence, to be a confident creator and manifester, to move forward into your ongoing journey is just accept that, almost accept the adventure of uncertainty I've got coming through here. Um, embrace all of your truths. Everything of your back history has made you who you are. Um, and you were a participant in that. Um, even though at times it feels challenging. Um, but I think you're very, very close to accepting that. It's just that little bit of extra release. Um, any blame, responsibility, I think you're very good at blaming yourself and bringing inward focus to, to, to things. Accept yourself, forgive yourself, free yourself, uh, open yourself to receiving because it's going to come. It's just flowing. It's like, it's there. <laughs> this is just, oh, so exciting. These readings are just amazing today. And we're at new moon. When I'm recording these, we're actually at eclipse. I've kind of stayed away from wanting to talk about that, but I feel for you, pile number three, it's really, really relevant. Okay. We have got some tarot cards to say guidance. What 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 does the what do the angels, what do the your guardian angels, the angel dogs, what do they actually want you to know now next? Nine of cups. Well, and seven of pentacles. Okay, so there's going to be um, your growth, your patience, um, your your hard work is paying off. And look at this, nine of cups. So there's some good luck coming in. There's happiness, there's abundance. That is, it's it's there, it's immediate. Um, this, is, um, this is just affirmation that if you're waiting for something, it's here. Um, and it's coming together. It's like, it's like, because you're, because you're enjoying the seeds that you've planted, not just you're enjoying watching them grow, you're getting satisfaction about watching the seeds that you've planted grow in this in this scenario. We've got the Knight of Wands and we've got the Five of Wands. Okay, so the Knight of Wands is, um, there is some kind of message that has come in that might be, you might not like the message, um, uh, it might help, though. Um, so for some of you, you might have been waiting for something and it doesn't come in the way that you want. Um, you might have been hoping for somebody to give you something. But actually, um, what comes in isn't what you hope for, but I can guarantee you it's going to be better. So there's going to be some kind of message that you might think, oh, that wasn't quite the right thing. But I think you're so used to this that you'll realise that it's a gift. So it it is, it is. I'm just going to get the next card and just see before we get that. Okay, nine of swords, but I'll say down. Fantastic. All right. This is about moving on. So something's going to come in that if you, you had gone down a certain path, it would have ended up in conflict or it would have ended up not being the right thing for you. Um, so that is some kind of advice. And maybe that's been why you've been hanging. You've been maybe waiting to see where this energy has been going. You've been maybe been waiting for somebody else to turn up in your life. You've maybe been waiting for somebody to give to you. Um, and you get a message to say it's not going to happen. Or you get a message to say if it does happen, it's not going to be quite right. But you realize almost instantly that that was the right thing. It's thank goodness for that. You've probably been worrying about it. And maybe the message that says it isn't what you want, actually might give you a huge sense of relief. 
Um, it's like, I, okay, I can avoid conflict because I know, I now know, I know where things are at and I'm just going to avoid it, which is hugely, hugely, hugely helpful. It'll actually untether me from something that has perhaps been bothering me more than I realised. Um, and then we've got the Queen of Cups, sorry, the Two of Cups upside down and the Queen of Swords upside down. If, if some of you have... Um, if some of you have been dealing with a difficult feminine energy, then you're going to have the strength to walk away from it. Or if you've been dealing with a difficult feminine energy inside of you, because we all have masculine and feminine energies, then you're going to release. You're going to actually separate yourself from obsession over something that would never have been right for you in the first place. Um, and that's that's tough to be able to do that. It 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 it. It means that you're really empowering yourself to say, I, I don't want to live in my head anymore. I don't want to live in my head with maybe um, some kind of uh, obligation, like trying to actually work things out through analysis the whole time that ends up basically giving me an internal conflict between my inner voice and my thought processes. And, and it's your inner voice is now saying, right, I'm, we're letting go. We're actually letting go of that harsh inner critic that doesn't always bring harmony internally. And therefore, because it doesn't always bring harmony internally, it doesn't always bring harmony externally either. These are messages that only somebody who is as advanced as you is probably strong enough to want to hear. And they're not bad messages. There's no, there's nothing bad ever comes out of tarot. I think this is what is this saying. Um, what Toby wants to point out to you is that you're in this place of such balance that you're actually able to recognize when your thoughts might be doing you damage internally and externally. And when something comes in to you as a message, you're able to say, I'm not just going to jump on it because it feels like the right thing. I'm going to recognize that actually it might not be the right thing for me. And I'm going to give myself permission to say no when I want to. And that is going to free me. It's going to make me feel, even though it might be something that on face value looks like it should be good for me when I say no to it it's going to make me feel very or when I listen to my inner voice and I decide from my inner voice what to do it's going to make me feel um very certain it's going to make me feel that I can move on if I want to or I can work with something if I want to so there's a huge empowerment energy going on him absolutely massive and that in turn is going to give you a huge amount of sense and peace Okay, so Toba, we just want to get a little bit more information here because so where is this heading? What's what what else do you want to tell us? I don't feel like this is quite the final message. It's it's um a little bit more information still to come through about where this is going. One and two. Okay. All right. Let's move these up here cards sliding around okay we've got the ten of feathers which is recovery and transformation upside down and we've got the shadow which is self empowerment and ambition upside down which is the devil upside down okay so this is amazing this is saying that like your period of recovery is over you no longer you no longer trying to work out who you are you're no longer being hurt by other people and then having to transform you're no longer under the shadow of devil energy of obsessive energy you have transformed so much come back to those two in a sec you have transformed so much that you, energies don't have a grip on you anymore toxic energies don't have a grip on you anymore you don't even have to entertain them that you then have to recover from them. They're gone. They're, they don't, they, they just float away. If they come by, they just float away in a cloud. Well, and instead, because you're so imbalanced, you're just so, yeah, you're just so imbalanced that nothing can phase you. And you're also going to get the Knight of Pentacles, which is um, your hard work is coming. Like somebody's going to come in with a message of some kind of energy of, a new opportunity i would encourage you having got this um and the moon as well to perhaps read pile number two if you're drawn to it um because it had the knight of pentacles as one of the first energies of this card and there was an amazing sequence of events that happened after that so only if you're drawn to it but it's, i feel like this is almost leading into pile number two in a way 
Um, so some message is going to come in <clears throat> that is going to be the right message for you, whereas as opposed to here, we've got messages that are coming in that are maybe the wrong message for you. You now identify all of that. You're very, very, very clear about what's right for you, what energy is right for you, and toxic energy no longer bothers you. It no longer stays in your energy field, and you no longer want it around you. So people or things that you might have wanted before, this transition, this incredible transition that you're going through, and I think it is part of the timing of this particular energy, is going to give you such a sense of self. And you're going to be able to talk sense to anything that comes in and come at it from a place of peace and balance. Very, very empowered. Pile number three, whatever you've been doing, you have really, like, you've given yourself the most astonishing gift by doing this work. And you're also giving a gift to the world because somebody who's so in balance is also one of, you know, a top leader, a top leader of thought change of the world because you're such a leader of yourself the leader of your energy just by being yourself changes energy it ripples out from you look it actually ripples out for you your thoughts ripple out as hearts okay <laughs> wow all right these are quite strong okay so prayer dear guardian angel help me believe that all is possible through love sorry these are guardian angel affirmations to finish off um uh with from tober and from your guardian angels um, help me manifest my dreams and live an inspiring, fulfilling life. Help me feel God or love's presence in every moment. Help me feel eternally loved. Thank you for being always at my side. Conflict. Feelings which you have suppressed for a very long time are yearning to be acknowledged and expressed. You are torn between what you think is the right thing to do and what your heart wants. This is the primary cause of stress in your life. We, your angels, urge you to follow your heart, do what you would love and not what you think you should. Okay. This is this transition that you're going through, part number three where something comes in that has conflict attached to it you're now going to no longer let it bother you you're no you're going to walk away you're going to move on even though it might be painful at the time you're going to take ownership of your thoughts and realize that if it feels wrong it is wrong um whereas if it if it your inner voice says it is right then it will be right and you don't need guilt. You do not need another's approval to feel worthy of love. Regardless of what you've done or what you think you failed to do from your soul's perspective, there is neither right nor wrong. Every experience in life is here to help you expand your awareness of love so that you may embrace ever greater spheres of wisdom. You've done nothing wrong. This is, um, I was expected maybe to end on something. I'm just going to get another card. And, and I hope, well, I hope for it. <laughs> it's a powerful message there's a real powerful message coming in here and i really hope that you're in a good place um pile number three but I, what i'm getting is that you're in a good enough place to receive this energy because you've done so much balance you realize that you can move aside any of this you can you can step away from guilt you can step away from conflict look at that okay <laughs> time out and patience i'm just going to hold these up i don't think we need to read them all out um, I'll let you read them. But time out is basically patience. Peace and peace. Calm your thoughts, move your awareness. And then we've got love, okay? Loving your own sense of self. Look at that, under that energy. Negative thoughts and feelings are sabotaging your pursuit of happiness. We, your angels, are here to help you heal. Your patience is moving you into this pace of peace, the balance you've been doing. You're so far advanced. So that's the energy I'm getting here, part number three. I just want to, I just want to restate this. Um, and what I'm getting from the dogs, your energy is unbelievably far advanced. And because it's so far advanced, you're recognizing all of this going on for you. And the real key here is that because you're in balance, you've got this inner peace. Now it is really time you can manifest, you can manifest by making peace with your thoughts and making peace with your sense of capability, allowing yourself to receive, allow the angels to give to you because they have so much that they want to give to you. Um, and uh, there might just be, I, I, I'm just getting the, I, I'm just getting from this that you're ready to receive some, some, some new perspective or some news. I've got out of focus things that haven't necessarily been out of focus before that are just going to come into focus and you're going to look at them actually with kind of like, kind of almost like slightly, I wouldn't say steely eyes, but in a way that you might not before, you might have taken some information and tried to give people the benefit of the doubt, maybe tried to work your way out of a conflict. Whereas now it's just like, 
I'm in balance. I'm listening to my inner thoughts. And if something comes in as a message, then I'll take it up if it's good for me. And if it doesn't, then so be it. Very empowered. Pile number three, may all your dreams come true. May your imagination run wild and everything that you want to manifest literally come pouring into your life. Because my goodness, you've done the work and you're so tuned in and switched on. Um, and that energy will always be rewarded. Thank you so much for being with us. Um, and please do like, subscribe, share, comment. Let us know how you're getting on if you like our channel. And hopefully we'll see you again. Thank you so much for being with us. Bye. Take care.